Hey everyone, so when you're ready to add a roof to your structure, what I'd like you to do is head over to the highest level floor plan that you currently have. In my case, that's level 2, so I'm going to double click on that. I'm then going to select the roof option, and I can either manually draw on my roof, or I could stick with the default where I click on a wall and it will draw in a purple line. So, let's uh, go ahead and draw a roof. And I'm going to draw a very unique roof to this structure. The important things to remember is define slopes. If this is checked in, your roof is going to be angled. And if it's not checked on, then your roof is simply going to go straight upward, kind of like a wall. And for this structure, I'm going to create a very unique roof. This interior area is going to be a roof type. So I'm going to leave that on. I'm going to put zero overhang. And I'm going to select the walls of this inner structure. Okay, just like that. Now, there's a lot of things that got built here that don't need a roof currently. So if I want to remove these pink or purple lines, there's a tool here called Trim Edit. And I'm going to click on that, and you simply need to select the ones you want to remove. So if I clicked on this and this, you'll see that it cut that out. So there's no longer a line there. Click on this one, this one, cuts it out. This one, this one, it removes that line. To remove this line up here, I'm going to click on this one and this one. And then just kind of go through the structure. And if it gives you an error like that, skip it. Go to the other ones and check those out. So over here it's saying it can't do it. Perfectly fine. Select that roof portion, delete it, and we're just going to manually draw this in. So using the line tool that I selected up there, I'm going to draw in a new roof component. Okay, so now that my roof is connected and done, I'm going to hit OK. It's going to say, would you like to attach it? I'm going to hit yes. And if I take a look at my 3D roof, you're going to notice that every part of that roof is angled inward. Okay, for these remaining three structures, I would like them to be of a different style. So double click on your highest level again, go to roof, and I'm going to do a gable style roof for this. What that means is these two will be angled and these two will be straight. So I'm going to auto draw this one with a one foot overhang, and then I'm gonna put it at a zero foot overhang, and I'm gonna draw in that wall. I'm gonna turn off to find slope, so these ones will go straight up. And usually when I have a roof in place already, I just like to manually draw these in. In my experience, it tends to be more successful when you do it like this. But you can draw with auto walls if you would like. Um, that's fine, okay. Okay, and I'm going to use trim to trim off that portion like that. Okay, lastly, always make sure that your roof extends to the walls or else it might not fit nicely. And I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to connect it to the walls and I'm going to take a look, see what happens. So this is what it looks like. There is a wall in there. Is this my wall's transparent? So when I click on it, you can see the wall. It meshes nicely with this roof style. Uh, let's see if there's a wall here. Yep, there is. It's right there. And if you'd like to adjust the angle of a roof, simply click on it, and you can use this top-down feature to lower it so that it can match whatever the purpose of that roof is. Okay, so those are two different styles of roofs. Hopefully you found one of them useful, or both. Uh, but if you have any specific roof questions, feel free to let me know. Okay, peace.